Hello everybody, this is Sergo TV and let me just adjust my screen a little bit. So how is everybody doing? This is the first cast in, I mean the first recording at least, in a very very long time. And uh, I think it's just the fact that once you get off the stream wagon it's a little bit hard to come back just uh, like so. So it's been taking a while for me to get myself together and uh, getting the energy, getting the willpower to continue doing uh, this thing. Before I had a different kind of uh, job routine where I would uh, stop at around five to six in the evening and then I had an entire evening to, to do this kind of thing. But uh, now I'm back to old routines again, and that means that it's a little bit harder to find the correct time and the correct moment, and also the more uh, about how much energy I can uh, gather and put myself into this. But I wanted to do a small cast just to get things started. Uh, it's not going to be very long. It's just to get myself back into gear and uh, pick up a little bit from where we left off at uh, Beneath a Steel Sky, the game that I was playing uh, a while back. So um, I do remember most of the things that I did at the time because I didn't actually manage to get very far in the game. However, some changes have been made. Um, most promptly I tried to uh, have a different uh, MIDI mapper installed called uh, MUNT32 and using MUNT32 I'm using the Roland uh, MT32 uh, MIDI mapper uh, just to see if it, I had this feeling that it could enhance the, the sound in, in a different way in this game before it had this very very MIDI uh, MIDI sound and uh, while it's, I don't uh, say it's uh, anywhere uh, bad at all, uh, I do like uh, more um, melodic uh, sweeping tunes. So I'm hoping that switching over to MT32 is gonna do that for me uh, and for you guys as well looking and uh, listening to this at home. Anyways, let's get back into gear and uh, see where we left off in a game. Um, I'm not gonna recap too much because this is gonna be a, a broadcast for later and I'm gonna stream the previous episode after this so you'll have an idea where we left 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 it and where we're gonna kick it off tonight let's get into the game shall we I'm switching over all of these things here uh, pausing music and getting the music from the game as well there we go. Play, yes, we want to play. So, this is where we are. And you can probably already now hear that there is a difference in the sound from before. So here we have Joey, our little uh, robot friend. And we are playing this guy, the black guy. And there is a man there with a cigarette and he is very um, depressed apparently. I don't know what to do here, but let's head out of here, this place, and see what we can do. This is basically where I got stuck before. And uh, I thought I would do something over on this end um, to get into a storage place, as far as I remember. But I didn't make it very far. So the idea is later on that I will try to get some form of uh, guide for this just to help me out a little bit in this game. All right, so this is where this uh, wreckage was. That chopper's a right up. Yes. I was lucky to get out alive. You were. Hello security officer. Never mind. Never mind. All right, all right. Anything else of interest here? I don't think there was. Alright, let's head uh, back again. Into this place. 
Yeah, this is the storage place. And uh, we have this robot here. It's a robot welder. Yes. Joey would love that shell. That's exactly what I was thinking of. There's no access to his insides. Do you want a new shell, Joey? I hope this isn't a wind-up. The shell can't be removed while the robot's active. Uh-huh. All right, let's go to the console then. The display is incomprehensible. Well, try your best at this. I don't understand it at all. All right, let's see if Joey can do this. Do you want a new shell, Joey? I hope this isn't a wind-up. The shell can't be removed while the robot's active. Okay, so I need to deactivate the robot in some fashion, and then uh, he can get that new shell. Cogs, okay. I guess I can do something to uh, stop that. It's part of the mechanism driving the conveyor. A lot of convenience. Let's see if sure we Sure to lose my fingers if I put them in there. All right, all right. What do we have for tools? We have the metal bar. See if we can use that one. The metal bar is too thick to push what? in there. It is. Huh. Go and disable the fuse box in the stores. No chance. Not in this shell. Anyway, what if a grown-up saw me? <laughs> I still need to find something then to disable, uh, to put inside of there. Hey! Hey! I told you not to go in there. All right, all right, all right. Excuse me. What a long way to talk to a man. Never mind. Uh, what to put inside there then? I mean, it would make sense to use that metal bar. The metal bar is too thick to push in there. It is? I don't understand that. Huh. I need some other thing to put in there. What could it be? Okay, let's head out again. See if there's some object that I can bring inside. That is not that. Hmm. Lamb. Terminal. Nothing happens. It so happens that. Hey, Lamb. And I have to stand on that side. See you later. Come on, is that all we have to talk about? Very um, short conversation. And this is where you basically could get killed uh, from these security guards. Hmm. It's a link terminal. It's a link terminal. Y yes, yes, it is. I tried to use this ID card on the terminal. Oh yeah, yeah I did this already. I remember. Exit. Hmm. Scanner slot. No, we don't want to be here right now. We want to have some other some other item. I wonder if I should go down the stairway, maybe. Let's see if we can, we can find access that. stairs for the furnace. Okay. Access stairs for yes. the furnace. Yes, but let's go down there. These. Slow poker. Nothing down there except the furnace. Oh, yeah, was, uh, I'll wait here for my playmate. What? What's happening? Okay. It's a furnace.
goodness, it's a corpse. I think I'm gonna throw up. Let's see now. Okay. Barbecued. I'll never eat kebab again. Come on, don't be so sensitive about it. Uh, doesn't look like there's more things here. Some oven. Wonder what's cooking. Why don't you go inside and have a I'm look? I'm not putting my hand anywhere near there. All right, all right, don't go there. Huh. It's much too high to reach. Okay, okay, okay. So, let's head out of here. Currently there's nothing here that is useful for us. And up he goes. So let's head over in this direction again. I need to find some item to put in there. What's inside of here? Probably I've been here already, but I cannot remember. Damn it! I wonder why it's doing like this. Is it because of the month? I do wonder. Let's see if there's some junk over in this corner that I can pick up. Hmm. Junk. Junk, junk, junk. That's no use. There's no jug. Jug? Why would I need a jug? I'm not picking it up. I don't even know what it is. Sometimes we don't have to be so sensitive about it. Christ. There's no way of changing the sequence. Mm -hmm. I can't operate it without the key. You all need the key. Okay, let's uh, head out here and see what we can find. Just monitors and buttons and the screen. Ah. Jikes. Well, no luck there. Yes, I'll uh, try my luck in this corner. No other items, huh? Okay, then. Wait a minute. If I put. I've never tried this one before. Maybe if I can put the metal jar in the press. Trying to do something. Hope that thing's got sensors. A guy could get hurt if it hit him. Yes, I cannot do anything. What about putting dark glasses inside? No? Okay. At least I tried. I don't think it did very much. Okay, so let's check in this corner as well. Control panel, control panel, man. Button! There's a safety device holding it fast. Okay, let's use a metal bar to destroy it. No? Didn't like that. Try pressing the button on the right. You're in my way, Foster. Okay, okay. Try pressing the button again. Nothing's happening, Rob. It's jammed. It's jammed, huh? What else can I use you for? Open up that control panel. Can't be done. How do you know? You haven't even tried. If you look at it, you'll find it's locked. Mm -hmm. Don't mind me. I can see you're busy. You have a wrench. 
please pick up the wrench. Don't mind me. I can see you're busy. Ah. Never mind. Can't reach the switches. Can't reach the switches. Can't reach, can't reach. Try pressing the button again. And off he goes. Nothing's happened. There's a safety device holding it fast. There's a safety device holding it fast. Oh. Do I need to synchronize or something? Maybe. Try pressing the button again. Maybe I need to press it at the same time as Joey. Let's see. Nothing's happening, Rob. It's jammed. Try, pressing, Try the pressing the button again. Nothing's happening, Rob. Damn it. It's jammed. Huh. A chair? I think I saw a chair there. Yeah, there is. Can I take the chair? I don't have time to sit around like that old man. Uh, yeah, 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 but... That's not what I meant. Maybe I could push the chair so he falls over. Ah. That chair is like its owner, an antique. Brr, okay, it's not possible. Or I can use this thing. No, he doesn't understand that command. He doesn't understand that. And he doesn't understand that. What about this button? Nope! No can do. I'm still stuck in this. What to do? We're gonna save here. Save game. Yes. Let's head inside and talk to these guys a little bit more. Even though I don't think it's uh, useful. Never, Never mind. mind. What about you, Norville? Can I get into the security building? Yes. Yes. Run your card through the slot to call the elevator. Be vigilant. Uh huh? Don't think that's gonna be happening because last time I got killed. Having a problem with your card? Ha! <laughs> He's holding. Let me check that for you. My card is coated with porridge. Porridge? <laughs> yeah, I dropped it in my breakfast. I meant to clean it, but I forgot. I've done that so many times myself. Hmm. Really? It's so easily done, isn't it? You're having breakfast, you're in a rush, and plop. Plop. Your card submerged in soggy cereal. Not you again. Come here. Are you using that dirty card again? I tried wiping it on my sleeve. Give me that card now. If you insist. Hmm. 
Looks just fine. Must have been a glitch in the scanner. Alright, if it's a glitch, let's see what happens last time. Exactly, now we die. There's one bone every minute, eh? That'll teach him not to use stolen ID. Come on. <laughs> Anyways, let's restore uh, this game. Think about it, think about it. Yes, yes, yes. Is there any other option for this? I wonder, I wonder. Let's see. Didn't pick the other option. Can I get into the security building? Yes. Run your card through the slot to call the elevator. Be vigilant. Be vigilant. Radio, radio. Let's see here. Having a problem with your card? Let me check that for you. All right, here's my card. Hmm. Looks just fine. Really? Must have been a glitch in the scanner. And now I'm thinking that if I try it again, I'm just gonna go straight up to kill mode. Why, I'm not surprised. <laughs> There's one bone every minute, eh? That'll teach him not to use stolen ID. Stolen ID. Alright, alright. No, not with restore. Okay, so there's no really any options there. Hmm. Damn it. Really. I could have used this elevator as far as I remember. An elevator to a lower level. The notice is firmly attached to the elevator. What does it say? Interlevel access suspended during routine anti-terrorist strike. Security services protecting the community. Uh huh. Nothing happens. Uh huh. And it looks like it's the same. Okay. Not what I was hoping for at all. Apparently he cannot use that there. At some point I'll need to use some kind of guide for this, because I'm really stuck. Excuse me. It's displaying columns of figures. Hey! I told you not to go in there! Let's bump him on the head. Excuse me. Excuse me. While I bump you. I've got a present for you. <laughs> Bribery, is it? Well, that won't work on me. Just use it then. Come on. Don't be a puss. Excuse me. Use it. Use it. I've got a present for you. Bribery, is it? Well, that won't work on me. Uh, why can't I use that? Let's see if he wants some dark glasses. Excuse me. I've got a present for you. Bribery, is it? Well, that won't work on me. Damn it. Joey. Never mind. Never mind, never mind. Sure to lose my fingers if I put the... Don't put them in there. Let's put your dark glasses in there. 
No, apparently not. The metal bar is too thick to push in there. That's why I put it in the press. So that it would fit inside. Damn it. Save, save, save. And I couldn't go through there, right? Because I just die. Hey! No. Sorry. That's how it was, yes. Hmm. What if I try to hit these things over? No, it doesn't rip. Oh, there's a window! What can we do with a window? Okay, we're looking through the window. Some kind of gangway going down to the lower floor. But apparently there's nothing here that I can actually... Just a fuse box. Huh. No. Still stuck in this place without knowing where to go. Hmm. Wonder if I can use Joey for anything inside of this room. Just wait for him here. It's some kind of security device. Security device. Sam is there. Norville is there. Thing over in that corner. Just the terminal there. Where the hell is my friend? Come here. It's like he doesn't want to show up or something. I'd like to report a fault in the elevator. Yes? Yes. Yes, it's non-functional. In what way, exactly? Non-functional in that it doesn't work. Yes? Heard about a boosted elevator, Sam? Which boosted elevator is that, Norville? He didn't say. Oh, nothing. When will the elevator be fixed? Let's try if we can when push this. When that saboteur is caught and castrated. Castrated, eh? Are you joking? No, the elevator stays where it is. Hmm. Oh, nothing. Never mind. Guess that's basically it. There's nothing more to say about this place. Damn. Okay. There he is. Joey boy. Joey! Hey you, come here. I'm just gonna wait for you. Is it possible for him to get into that building? I mean, it should be. It's not like it's rocket science or anything. Let's see. If he's now in this screen, will he come with me inside at some point? And if he does not, that means I cannot really use him for anything in this, in this office. Nah, he's not coming, is he? Okay, let's head back out. Yeah, he's not even in the screen anymore. He will show up soon enough if I go this way. Yes, there he is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like clockwork. Hey, lamb. Lamb. See you later. That's all you guys can talk to to each other. 
elevator, elevator terminal. Is there anything I can do on this terminal? That's the thing. Uh, personal. Personal, personal. Frank's Exotic Fisheries. Ah, zero to go back. Okay, I understand. Damn it. Blah, blah, blah. You news. Not really anything for. Access denied. Nope, nothing at all. Thinking I will soon call it because I think I need a guide for this because this is just stupid. Spirit officer wreckage exit. No, he does not know what to do with the wreckage. He's just looking. Never mind. Never mind, never mind. Okay, I think I'm gonna stop it just there. We haven't even gone uh, like half an hour or something like that, so... But that's okay, because that's what I wanted out of this. Alright, let's see here. Let's save. Save, yes. And then I'll get up and going on a guide. Alright, let's put it back on. Ah, okay. So that was a very short cast, um, but it was what I wanted it to be. It, it's just a thing to get myself up on rev revolutions again in this regard. Um, I'm gonna probably do it again tomorrow, because I hope that the, by that time I can get a guide, read a little bit through it and get an idea of where I need to go from here, what item I need to get. I think I have a little bit of a clear picture of what I need to do. It's just a question of how to do it to get those cogs to stop working. Until then, just gonna call it quits for tonight. Um, it's been a long day. So enjoy some music and I hope uh, I'll see you in the next cast. This was a short one, but uh, it is what it is. Be vigilant.